Oh, uh, guys, I'm us, y'all. It's uh, 4:45 ish in the morning on the Tuesday, I think it is, yep. and we are headed up Inuyama, <laughs> which is Dog Mountain, which is kind of cool. And uh, we're hoping to see something kind of interesting uh, ish at the top of this. This is why we're up at four in the morning. Last night we just slept in the car. Like we just found a parking space behind a, the home center or something and just slept there for a while. And then it was like five seconds from here, got up and now we're going to go on a hike in the morning because we're hoping to uh, come across something that will disappear there soon. There's a sign about bears again. Yeah, we got more bears. We're going to have to listen to some more uh, green jams. jello. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm not, the thing is, is we have, we have very little information on what we're doing, but we did see a sign here that says we're going in the right direction. So I'm hoping to see more signs that continue to help us go along the right direction. It's really nice that at 4.30 in the morning, someone put some signage to just verify that in our sleepiness, we are going in the right direction. I'd also like to point out, like, I, I know we're, it's a little bit dark in the shot, but it's 4.30 in the morning and it's, it's bright out in Japan, basically. This is something I say all the time, Japan is absolutely 100% in the wrong time zone. <laughs> it should not be like this daylight at 4.30 and then be dark later or too early in the evening. You know what I'm saying? They need to move this over one click. <laughs> yep. This is a sign that you are entering bear country. Oh, oh you can barely see it. There's an electric fence here. Yeah, there's two lines. You think I got shit to say? <laughs> Took us about 15 minutes, I guess, to get up to the top. It's like five o'clock right when we got here. And the reason that we came up here is because there is this kind of a, this is a thing that happens in places in Japan. We tried to do this in the past and I think we failed then too. Yeah, I think it might've been- Zero for two. It might've been a little bit more than in my memory. I think I kind of saw it. But anyway, it's called Unkai, and it means uh, sea of clouds. So it's when you can climb up onto a mountain and you can look down into a valley and you can see that the valley is full of clouds. And usually in a good sense, like if it's one of the really good ones, there'll be some hills sticking up on the top of them. And the one that makes this specifically cool is that there happens to be a castle sitting on a hill that's quite close to this viewpoint. So if this was all full of clouds, it would be really magical looking because the castle will be like sitting on top of all the clouds. So that's that's like ideal prime conditions. However, it's mostly not full of clouds right now. <laughs> but that castle is still looking amazing on that little hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a good scene, but I feel like I still haven't quite gotten the majest the majesty, majesty, majesty mm. of the unkai that I've been fabled about hearing so often. I don't feel like it's a failure though, like having slept in the car last night because it's 5 a.m. We're already moving and we're gonna get a lot out of the day today. And it's not a bad view. Mm -mm. It's nothing to sneeze at. It's pretty. But I do want to see the Munkai someday. Someday. <laughs> that, that is the most elusive thing to enjoy. Yeah, I bet you that you gotta hit the season right too like where it's not too warm so it doesn't burn off the clouds really quickly. Mm -hmm. Cause when I woke up, I woke up at like 4.10 and outside the windows of the car, it was still a little bit foggy. So we were down in this valley essentially. And- um, I was asleep. The problem would have been is that it was dark enough that it would have been kind of troubling to hike up this hill. Yeah, the bears definitely would have had an advantage. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so you would either need to bring like a torch or something, like a proper light to make sure that you were safe, or you'd need to know the path well enough that you didn't need to be able to see that much to get up here before there was any sunlight. And maybe as the moment the sun came out, you would get a glimpse of these clouds before it all burned off. Mm. Or maybe you should just come in the winter or fall or something when it doesn't burn off so quickly. Yeah. <laughs> So as a consolation prize, if you come Guys, up the here- the clouds came in! 
<laughs> there's a consolation prize if you come up here in the wrong month, <laughs> which we have just discovered from the sign, which shows a picture of what this looks like when it is in its prime. And if you notice in the background of this picture, there's a little bit of snow. <laughs> so we are not in the season of snow. We are in the season of uh, June. Sunshine and bugs. Yeah, sunshine and bugs. And the sign specifically says that the time to come is between October and April. And the best month is to come in November. So we aren't in any of that time period. We are almost in the opposite of that time period. And also lists off things like if it has been really windy and the day before rained and the humidity is high, those are bad days, blah, blah, blah. But I think our biggest thing playing against us is that the month is June. But still, I was planning on coming up here. Just clouds to see or the no castle. clouds. Yes, to see a castle from this angle. You know what? There's a lot of castles here. I've seen a lot of castles. I've been in a been in a couple. Been in the grounds of a couple. Now I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to get different angles on castles, <laughs> and I'd enough. say this is a sweet angle. It's not a bad angle. <laughs> I'm I'm really happy about it. I mean, yeah, I sat there going, "Come on, clouds," but I thought that was very cool. It's now 5:46. Days burning away. I I had my breakfast, <laughs> and now I'm ready to go get in the car and see where the day goes. Sounds good. And actually I have some good news because the other things, or at least one of the things we're going to do today, says that June is the best month for it. Okay, we're going to even this out. Don't worry. along and I know that Becky which is what we call the GPS it's Becky doesn't matter what language we're hearing it in it's Becky and Becky's telling us oh you're about to go across this bridge check out this bridge <laughs> it goes about halfway. halfway and then you dead <laughs> <laughs> luckily there's a bridge that's like I don't know 200 meters away that is brand new and it is not going to kill us. On the screen on Becky right now, we are just floating <laughs> across the water. It is fucking Oregon Trail over here. <laughs> and I got news for you, everyone made it. <laughs> the oxen are all all right. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna talk about a little bit of cancellation that's happening with how the world is right now. Um, Typically when we go on these trips, I at least like to do one hands-on activity. And there are definitely cool activities that are happening here in Fukui. Like uh, going and doing like a treetop obstacle course, um, making miso, making soy sauce, um, all of these things. I went to their website to look to see if we could do these things. A lot of them are that there's not enough people interested in doing it. I registered for one thing and they said we couldn't get five people, so I'm sorry you can't do it. Other ones are like, we're gonna start doing this in July, so right now it's just not good. Um, and the treetop one was only happening for the weekends and we weren't in that area. So that's kind of where the state of the world is. You're not gonna get to do everything that you want if you go outside right now, but we've come to a location, the June, uh, event that I wanted to do and we were worried because we drove up and the parking lot is closed you cannot park in their parking lot but we went down the street and we just parked the car and then we walked into this Yay! Um, it says that it's closed but there are no barriers we didn't have to hop over any barbed wire or electric fences the bears aren't in here <laughs> um, I think it's just that they aren't welcoming groups of people to come and do this as this would be a normal tourist event that buses would come to. So they're just straight up, their, their website probably, oh, I don't know. It was kind of confusing because normally they're closed on Tuesdays and today is a Tuesday. But it said that in June in our book that every day in June is open because the flowers are blooming. But their website said they were closed on Tuesdays and it is Tuesday and they are closed. It's all very confusing. But I get to stand next to the flowers and I'm gonna sniff them. A really great place to start is these amazing, what I call like butterfly catchers. You have like a small kind of baby's breath 
type of flower on the middle and then on the outside they have larger flowers that are flowering and they look like butterflies coming in to find out what's going on with the baby's breath so I call them butterfly catchers they got other names they're not right you want to play Animal Crossing <laughs> yeah I kind of do if you put the yellow ones next to the yellow ones it makes orange They don't smell like anything, but they are quite pretty. And we are breaking rules, and that was fun. A solid sign that you're lost in the Inaka in the countryside of Japan is when you are driving across random rice paddies. <laughs> it's these like straight, narrow little roads, and there's nothing around, and you know you took a wrong turn. <laughs> yep. <laughs> One of my favorite dishes in Japan is called omuraisu, and it is a dish that Katie's actually ordered here, and it is a egg that is just on top of rice, and then they usually cover it in ketchup, or they'll use a demi-glaze sauce sometimes. The classic jams is the ketchup, and the rice is usually also cooked in a ketchup as well. Sometimes there's chicken cut up put inside, little pieces of vegetables, things like that, mushrooms. There can be a lot of varieties of it, but my jam is usually just a straight up ketchup one with maybe chicken on the inside. We've come across a place here that does something called, I keep forgetting, borugaraisu. And borugaraisu is a omuraisu style dish, so it's rice with an egg on top. And then they have also put katsu on top of it. And there's a bunch of different types you can get, pork and beef, and they had a whole, this is like a list of them, different ones you can have. And I believe I got, I'm not even sure what I got. I think I got a pork? I don't remember now. Uh, it's hard to see where it's, where it's from. Uh, it's, por it's a pig, it's pork. Um, and I got it with a demi-glaze sauce on it. And it comes with three pieces of meat on the top and the omuraisu and the demi-glaze sauce. So this is not how I would usually order my um, omuraisu, but we figured that if Katie got the omuraisu and I got this, we could kind of share a little bit, go back and forth and get a taste of both. So that's how we decided to order it. Um, so let's see here. A little bit of sauce, a little bit of meat, a little bit of egg, a little bit of rice. There's a lot going on there. It's hot. <laughs> Heat hot. This is not so out of the ordinary because of some omelette restaurants that are specifically that's what they do. They'll put different pieces of meat and stuff on top of it. But the fact that they're kind of advertising it as like a main thing here is why I came over here. Um, it's okay. I don't really like demi sauce that much. It's got kind of a metallic flavor that I'm not super, super into. Um, I think I'm going to enjoy more getting some of Katie's ketchup omuraisu and mixing it with this and kind of dancing with that instead. But uh, let me see just like the rice and stuff. It's possible that this rice was cooked in, cooked in ketchup. And sometimes, I, I don't, does the demi glaze sauce always come cook with it cooked in ketchup? I don't think so. Uh, Katie's like back here like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's normal amuraisu ketchup style rice inside. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's all right. Um, I would probably order it again in the future and try to get them to just use ketchup instead of demi glaze sauce, but that's just my preference. So in the end, I ended up just switching with Katie and getting the omelet rice with the ketchup. I first saw that this is what was going to happen. And it was a, it was a lot better. Like, I really I really enjoyed that meal quite I a lot. I wanted that demi-glaze. We had a difficult time making our order because I really wanted that demi-glaze and he really <laughs> wanted that ketchup. And it, it, asking them to put demi-glaze on, on, on my dish and to put the ketchup on his is... It, it, it complicated. Was, <laughs> they did do this like, oh, that's outside of the box. I don't know what to do. Yes. And yeah. we even we asked for a receipt. Yeah, they no. didn't, yeah, they didn't outside the box. <laughs> However, the place I think was really cool. I wish I lived near this place because the there's a lot on the menu just besides what we just had. And it's all like easy calories. It's just like go in there, easy eat dome. some dude. And there's a whole bunch of like businessmen going in there and just eating. And it's something I, it's a little bit strange. Like this is the building behind us and it is kind of in a warehouse sort of it's really nice inside mm -hmm. but the outside seems like a warehouse but we're in, across the street from some houses and then when we were driving through here i thought we were in an industrial park for a minute it's in it's not in town in town it's like yeah. in this little weird 
I, I don't even know what it is. It's like an industrial residential area like mixed together with this restaurant in the middle. Mm. It's, it's, just a, it's just a bizarre area. We're in Fukui. It seems like that's where this meal would come from. <laughs> it, it actually kind of does. Boruga. Boruga. We've just been thinking it's vulgar rice. Yeah, it's a it's a katakana word. And I would word. say that looks it looks pretty vulgar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what boruga means. Boruga. But usually, like when it's written in this fashion, it would be a foreign word that they've adapted into their language. But we don't know what boruga. But rice, that one's easy. Got that? <laughs> I ate it. It does kind of look vulgar. You're right. Yeah, it, mm. it just looks like you had you had a dish, you had a meal, and you just tossed a whole bunch of other stuff on top of it. Just get nasty with it. <laughs> get nasty with it. Get boruga with it. <laughs> yeah. We just rolling out here in the countryside, and a fox ran across the road in front of us. And I haven't seen a fox in Japan in quite some time. It's mm. been years since I've seen one. I've never seen one anywhere near here either. Gonna yeah, turn, harken turn right back here. to some old school Eric. Was it a foxy fox? It was a pretty foxy fox. I would say that was a foxy fox. <laughs> How you doing, old man? So we're hiking this morning and it was totally fine. Slept in the car, totally fine. Maybe that was part of the problem that's happening now. I don't know. And then when we were getting ready after the hike, we were standing in like the parking lot of the um, convenience store like brushing our teeth and like just using some wipes and stuff and wiping up after having slept in the car and not having had a shower and um, sorry there are murder, murder hornets he's fighting another one they're the, these huge bees things that are fighting they keep falling out of the tree and they're distracting <laughs> uh, anyway so hopefully we don't get involved in those things um, so I, I, when I was doing brushing my teeth and stuff, I just reached down like da, 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 to pick something up out of the car and I something snapped in my back, like a muscle. And I don't know how bad it looks. That's as far straight as I can stand right now. And that is the comfortable position of where my back is. So it sort of has put a twist into what we're able to do. Um, even walking is just horrible right now i'm hoping you I, I i have historically had back problems like since i was 20. so this isn't like new or anything but it's kind of a bummer when it happens when we're out on a trip because obviously we want to be out doing things and stuff but we are sort of limited so we've come to this park and it's supposed to have like some art in it and stuff and we're just walking it around. has murder hornets it has murder hornets yeah it watched him murder that other hornet <laughs> it was gruesome dude there must be a nest or something so anyway, yeah, I, that's what our day has turned into, is me not being able to stand, hardly being able to walk, and hopefully not getting killed by a giant bee. God, it's huge. You can see it when it's so big. These things are like, they're like this. I hope it was in the, the we shot. able to see it go by. Yeah. Oh, this sucks. So Eric's back is not feeling well, and uh, it's about time for Fika. We're going on a Katie mission, and we're going to Big Billy to find us a good fika. All right, so when I break down like a supermarket and fika, I kind of see that there are three things and that you could get, three categories. There might be more and I'm not thinking about them right now, but number one is like local or made in house type stuff, sweets. Uh, number two is processed sweets that like just come in bags. There's tons and tons of them. Uh, Eric seems a bit bored with that one. And then there's also ice cream. Um, in the processed foods one, I've got a standout right here. It is the two bean pastry. It's got beans in it. <laughs> and not even like what I would think are onko. Kind of looks like grapes. It looks really strange. Two colors of beans. It could even be the same bean, just different colors. Um, I'm gonna go and search out the uh, ice cream and see if I can find something because it's been quite a hot day and some ice cream could be good. I'm gonna see what we've got. A standout in the ice cream section are these Pappy Veggie. And I don't really know what Pappy means. Obviously veggie is meaning vegetable. What's Pappy mean? I, I don't really know, but we've got kiwi and some green. Just as kiwi and green. That's a vegetable. And uh, this one, uh, the orange one, is apple and carrots. So that's a standout in the, uh, in the ice cream section because Eric was saying that uh, he thinks that vegetable juice might be his new jam, or he's trying to find out if it is, so that's very funny. 
They don't seem to have made-in-house sweets, but they do have kind of like mochi-esque type rice, not balls, like rice sweets that uh, just come from the local area, it seems like. I wouldn't say they're national brands. This doesn't look very national. Um, it says uh, Aoi, and uh, I should just read it. Why am I trying to remember it? Um, neji. I don't know what that means at all. Blue Neji, or green Neji. Uh, it looks like some sort of twist that's covered in Kinoko soybean powder. I am leaning very hard on this because I like stuff that I've never had before, never seen before. Don't think I could get here ever or get anywhere else. So I'm probably going to get this and I'm thinking about getting this ice cream because it is pretty hot today. So maybe a double fika. The things I found are going to make you laugh. And then make you go, what the, what the hell is if that? If I laugh, my back hurts. All right, no laughing. <laughs> so do you remember what, what drink you're trying to find out if it's your new jam? Oh, what ve drink? vegetable drink. Bam! You ready to have some vegetable drink ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> is it vegetable? This is a, yeah. Oh my gosh. It says Pappy Veggie. Yeah, weird. I don't, and, it, and then the, and then the details are kiwi. <laughs> Kiwi and green. Just green. Green is a veggie. Green is a veggie. <laughs> Open it up. All right. Oh. I really like these little things. These are actually like, uh, they seem smaller than the normal ones. Yeah, they are. Because they have like, uh, for these, what are they called? Uh, papico? Yeah. Ah, uh, maybe papico. that's why Pappy Poppy veggie. veggie. Yeah, I was sitting here, I was like, why Pappy? So these oh, are these. So cute. Um, these little uh, it focuses on my face there we go it's these things it's like a little ice cream inside of a little plastic thingy my bob and that always comes in packs of two it's for friendship uh, it's for friendship usually i just raw dog two of them on my own double fist in That's them or whatever true. but today i get to split them and it is a ice cream kind of but it's more of an ice based ice cream to green to green <laughs> All the flavors of green. <laughs> <laughs> um, they make coffee flavored ones that I, are really good. I really enjoy them. The texture of it is not quite, it's not like a, you know, like a, a what are those, the Otter Pops? The, you know what I'm talking about, Otter Pop? Mm -hmm. Is that a thing Ices. you know? It's, it's, it's got more flavor and more body than that does. It's not just ice. It's more leaning towards a creamy ice cream. This is way better than I thought it was gonna be. It's good. Mm. Granted, these have not disappointed me before, so. It does taste green though, but there's kiwi in there. It, yeah, there's damn. kiwi. There's something this else really that I tasty. feel like I've had before, but I don't know what it is. Perhaps green. They also do a lot of different special flavors, like seasonal flavors all the time. What you doing over well, there? <laughs> trying to get down on the green. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put that in my cup holder. Number two. Uh-huh. Just in just what's going on here. Ao neji. I don't know what that means. Me either. It looks like um, kinako. Yeah, it's definitely kinako powder and then... Blue or green something. Blue or green something. So we're just gonna... Japanese people see use how this goes. the word owl for interchangeably for blue and green. Gosh, I'm so shocked that didn't, that didn't turn explode into... That didn't all over yourself. Yeah. It smells like kinako. Kinako is, what is it? It's, um... Soybean, soybean powder. powder. That's right. It's, it smells like wood chips. Mm-hmm. I feel like hamsters would be really into this. <laughs> Alright, let's push the focus button. There we go. See, it wants to focus on my face. It's really hard, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know, you know, you know what's up? Yeah, there we go. Hey, I pulled it in. So it's got like a spirally thing, and you can see that it's a little bit green through the skin, or through the kinako or powder. Or blue. <laughs> or green. I don't know. What are we going to? To blue or green. <laughs> <laughs> oh, green! A really green. Super green. Oh my gosh. Here, I'll help you out. Bop. There we go. There you go. Um... It's not as good as the ice cream thingy. I like it more because I haven't had kinako in a while. Mm. Kinako dries your entire mouth out so <laughs> that 
and then you just get slapped with the flavor of whatever it was coating. And in this case, it tastes like sweet clay. It's dry in there. <laughs> you can't do that. <sighs> just dust. I'm not disappointed by any means with either choice that I made. But I think you're right. Yeah. The, the ice cream is better. It's only because it won me over more than the scary thing mm. or the unknown thing. Because mm. I was just like, this is going to be a fucking <laughs> <laughs> train wreck. Mm, good. Mm. These are just expected. They're not sweet at all, by the way. This is kind of sweet, yeah. but those things aren't sweet at all. Yeah. That... They also taste green. Mm. But, you know, this is the... They have no idea what they is. <laughs> they was this. <laughs> These are not sweet. What are they, what are they called? The Owl Neji. Neji. Owl Neji. Neji. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Big Belly. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun time. So, uh... <laughs> I saved the best for last. He did kind of save the best for last, and I kind of can't do it. I uh, can't walk. Um, when we were walking out of that park earlier, before we got Fika, I ended up collapsing, basically. Uh, my, I just I'm, stood I'm in, next to you, because I cannot carry you, and I'm, I had no plan. I'm in pretty astonishing levels of pain right now, so... Um, the thing that's a bummer is, uh, you can see this island, like, right there. It's a little Tom Sawyer island. I love those so it's much. It's not even a Tom Sawyer island. It's just a walkabout. Yeah. Mm. So, so I, let me let me just make it realistic so that we're not too bummed <laughs> out. It, it's like you walk across a br like a super traditional looking Japanese bridge, and then you stroll around the island and you walk back over the bridge. It's probably like a thirty minute jaunt, but you know it's something that I know you really like. Like, it's an island, and you can go to it. Let's go. Can you hold um, the camera? Ah, yes. <laughs> Okay, that's a little better. So wait. Oh. Anyway, okay, I'm a little better now. Yes, I'm still like bummed. I was like, there's a little bridge. There's a little island. I wanted to go around the little island. Like that's a good way to end the prefecture. And we're in the northern-ish most most area, right? Yes, yes. This is a, one of the northernmost parts of Fukui Prefecture. Um, I don't even know what this area is called. I have no idea. Just northern Fukui. The kanji is three, and the Country, me. me and Koku? I don't know. Me, I don't know the reading for it. It could be Mikoku. Three and country are the kanji, so that yeah. helps us <laughs> if you want to look it up and you can write those kanjis. Land of island you can walk to is basically what, what will be remembered. <laughs> okay, so Fukui. How do you feel about Fukui? Because tomorrow we're going into Ishikawa and we'll be spending a few days in Ishikawa and hopefully I will be able to walk. Having looked at the map, I thought that it was really going to be a whole bunch of coastal stuff, and mm -hmm. I feel like we really didn't do that much coastal stuff. So I, I'm surprised that my initial thought was wrong. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's on the coast. Yeah. Um, Obama, Obama was was we had a lot of fun with that, and it, we didn't even What's expect this? one to go to that town. Two, we didn't expect we were going to be sleeping in that town, and three, we didn't expect to go back. And. I've been actually pretty impressed with just how beautiful this prefecture is. And that's not rare in Japan. There's a lot of beautiful prefectures, but this one was up there in the list. Like it's in the it's in the top top fifty percent at the very least. It's probably higher than that. Yeah, I could say fifty percent. Do I think it's as pretty as you're saying? No, it's green. It's green, and that's it's I think I just green. like I think I just like that. Mm. I think it is like greenness yeah, and stuff. Yeah, well, when we live in the city, we don't get to see that so yeah, much. So it does, it does stand you. out and become striking. And having um, been inside for months, it probably hit me a little harder. Like just inside in yes, the city. Yeah. Like we haven't been mm -hmm. out. We haven't... <laughs> yeah, I can yeah. see that having that effect. Um, lots of squiggly roads. Germ bag's doing a great job, but germ bag's not Fukui specific. Did we ever say that germ bag was the car? Yes, at some okay. point, germ bag, everybody knows this. <laughs> How do you not know this? You're I know this. this. I know this. I didn't know if it had been explained. Um, and I'm trying not to be disappointed about the things that we can't do at this point because of the circumstances, the of, the circumstances of the world. The circumstances of the world. But there, there's there's much more potential to Fukui than what's going on. And you know what? I think that's for the whole world, honestly, right now. Yeah, everything's kind of in a um, weird gear. Yeah, even you. Yeah, I'm in a weird Even year right you. now, yes. Yeah. If I wasn't leaning on this rail right now, I wouldn't be doing very good at all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, you, is this getting heavy, heavy for you? you gotta yes, it is heavy. Are you, you, are you now helping me? Here. Oh my God, what extend. are we doing? Why are you extending there we my go. arm? got a nice wide that... shot so everybody can see the nice island and everything. Okay, Look at that. There, there, you, there go. you go. See how much nicer that is? It's beautiful. It burns. Right? <laughs>
<laughs> so uh, from here on, if I, if I can walk tomorrow then with Ichikawa, if I can't, maybe we're going back to Tokyo. I don't know, we're gonna find out in the morning. <laughs> yeah, we're, we'll be finding out a lot so, in the morning. <laughs> well, hopefully, I'm, uh, hopefully I'm not gonna just collapse here. Don't do that. Hey everybody, at the moment we are doing a fundraiser to get ourselves a new quite expensive camera so that we can hopefully bring better looking videos to everybody in the future. And I want to first off just say thanks to everybody that has already helped us out. We have gotten nearly to the point where we can get all of the equipment necessary for the camera, which is really exciting and we're really looking forward to getting it all that. But um, if you didn't see the last video and have no idea what I'm talking about, just check out down below. There is a link and if you wanted to help us work our way towards some new equipment, and uh, get things looking spicy for everybody then just check that out and there's an explanation of what's going on with all that uh, that's the end of the advertisement have a good day y'all watch out for that cone gramps Stand out in the ice cream section are these, uh, happy? We hope you enjoyed our full series in Fukui. Next up, we explore the neighboring prefecture of Ishikawa. Our videos are made with support from folks at Patreon. If you'd like to help us make more videos and get some fun perks, check out the links below. Liking, subscribing, and commenting helps too.